What's up, you guys? It's Danelle. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. So, um, you guys have been bombarding me with questions about locum tenants since I've done that travel video um, for, you know, the travel PA. Uh, and so if you haven't already seen that video that I made a few weeks back about being a travel PA, aka working locum tenants, go ahead and check that video out after you've already watched all of this video. And of course, subscribe because it really helps my YouTube algorithm out. So this um, question was posed to me. Uh, there's two questions that I'm gonna be answering in this video. Uh, one is gonna kind of be talking about exactly uh, what is the best experience that you should get and then how can you do this? Like, can you do this straight out of PA school? So let's get into it right now. Oh, doing my dance, hey. I'm doing my dance, don't mind me. Came from Eric Davenport and it said, Hey Adana, what field do you think is best to start in to gain experience in a broad range to be comfortable and effective in locum tenens? Family medicine or urgent care, perhaps? Thank you. All right, so that's the first question I'm gonna be answering. So, Eric, thank you for your question. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that, Eric. But this question I think is a good question to ask because honestly, a lot of us are looking for hey, I wanna be in a certain specialty or doing something specific, but I wanna be able to be like super effective at that. And the way to do that is to get experience. Let me just fix my hair, it looks a little crazy right there but you want to have experience and so the best way to have experience is to get like a broad um, view of everything you know you can touch on everything you can be a jack of all trades not always best to be a jack of all trades sometimes you want to be a master of one um, but in this realm when you are trying to get into locum tenants a lot of these jobs are in like the emergency medicine setting or even family medicine setting and so i think that although family medicine is a good place to be i think it almost pigeonholes you so i would definitely suggest doing urgent care because that way you get not only like the family medicine type stuff of people coming in with like a high blood pressure and you want to like give them something to lower it or you want them to come back to check and see a second time to see all right well is your bp still high if it is then you absolutely need to go talk to your family medicine physician and get on some bp medication or if you are like me, um, the job that I worked at, the urgent care I worked at prior to getting into PA school, they not only were an urgent care, but they also dealt with family medicine. They had patients of their own. So the patients would go there to see their physicians and you know, as a PA, you would be seeing not only you know the acute care stuff where somebody has like a broken bone or something that's you know lacerated that needs suturing, but you'd also be seeing patients that you know need management help with their BP medication and you know their diabetes stuff so that is the realm that I suggest you go into if you can't get into emergency medicine because it is a little bit difficult straight out of PA school to get into emergency medicine get into urgent care get a wide view of all of you know the runnings of an urgent care and then apply with um, some temp agencies or some recruiters um, to be a part of like a locum tenens group okay so that's the first question um, and since we're here in the in a break you guys can go ahead and hit that like button if you've liked what I've already said and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already done so okay the next question is from Beverly, and she said, "Hey, Adana, um, could you do? Could a PA do locum tenens right out of school, or would most places prefer you to have some sort of experience first? Since if you're only at each location for a limited time, they probably won't have time to train you." Thanks. Okay, and that is a great question um, because you know training. A lot of people do want training, or like, oh, they're not willing to train, or they are willing to train, um, and so. Yes, obviously they want experience, you know, they want a little bit of experience, but again, like with the dilemma of every PA student, like you're asking me for three years of experience or two years of experience, I just graduated and passed my boards, like how can I get this experience if you're not willing to train me or if you're not willing to give me the experience? And that is like a lot of the, the problems that new grad PAs face, okay? Um, but again it depends on the locum tenants job that you are applying to so obviously there are some that will absolutely want you to have experience because you know what 
Like, yeah, I'm not trying to train you. I don't have time to train you. I just need you to like hit the ground running. And again, it's usually general stuff like I stated when I was answering Eric's question. Um, a lot of it is like your emergency medicine, urgent care, family practice type of field. So it's the general common things that you would see as a PA. Um, so, you know, somebody comes in with a stomach ache, uh, you know, or, and have like gastroenteritis, that kind of stuff. How are you going to um, replete them and, and give them, the you know, the right education? for moving forward, that kind of thing. So those are the things that you definitely have to keep in mind. But at the same time, yes, you can absolutely get a job as a locum tenant straight out of, um, you know, PA school. Uh, I was offered a couple jobs with like recruiters that I was working with um, for locum tenants where it was like a three month, um, you know, what, what is it called? Like a three month contract, I guess you can say. That's not really what the word I'm looking for, but um, if you rem you know the word I'm looking for, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. <laughs> but um, just kind of like being stationed there for three months, essentially. Um, so yeah, you know, that was an option for me. It wasn't something that I necessarily wanted to do again because I had a family, but it was an option. And so you really just kind of have to put yourself out there. I suggest you guys apply to as many jobs as you can, you know, do whatever it is that you can. Um, even if you feel like you may not be qualified, apply um, because you never know, okay? But that is it. Hopefully it answers your questions, you guys. Continue to leave me those questions in the comment section below. Um, if you haven't already done so, subscribe and like this video. Follow me on Instagram at the Down the PA, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.